Hey, this is Ken Sheets. It's uh, 1030 on uh, Sunday morning at uh, Great Spirits Ranch here on August, uh, I think it's like uh, August 12th. And uh, sorry for not having the exact date here. Wait a minute, I should be more precise than that. <clears throat> Turn on my phone. Hey, it is August 12th. I was absolutely right. Ah, it's interesting sometimes uh, how we, uh, we're really more in tune with the world than we think we are. I knew what day it was and I knew uh, to, uh, to look and double check, but I knew before I <coughs> turned on the phone there <coughs> that it was okay. Sorry for all the coughing and, and nasally voice here. I am fighting a terrible sinus infection, uh, but today I'm going to try to fight it with love instead of letting it get the better of me. I'm going into my higher self and I'm going to uh, see if I can lick this thing. Uh, if I can't, it's good old antibiotics for me tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to try one more day here of trying to uh, cope with this. Uh, I think some uh, bacteria got into the air because we just have been uh, uh, cleaning up uh, this like area that we didn't realize behind some books. Some, uh, some little farm rats had uh, uh, left uh, a lot of poo and uh, it got into the air conditioning system and it's uh, it's probably still in there because uh, just even from working in there yesterday I uh, started to uh, get sick again but uh, it's interesting to have something like a sinus infection at this point in the shift in all the Reiki work and planetary healing work that I'm doing and uh, just to see, hey, you know what, you're still just a regular dude who uh, is uh, prone to illness. Although I have not been sick in almost two years since I started doing this work. so uh, And I guess when I think of past sinus infections I've had, I'm doing awfully good because I, I almost died from one. It, it spread to pneumonia, and, uh, and here it's doing its best to kick my ass, but uh, having a hard time. I had this dream last night of uh, these... Um, uh, weird uh, parasites that were all over uh, and I began to be able to see them and uh, I was pulling them out of me and they literally had their their tendrils deep into me and uh, I'm sure I was healing uh, my sinuses last night in my sleep uh, getting all these microbes and uh, you know getting rid of them and uh, it was really gross I mean one looked like a white lobster and had a tail that was full of my blood it, Yuck. So, anyway, I'm just babbling here on a Sunday morning <clears throat> and using my voice to uh, resonate in my sinuses here and uh, start to go after some of these dudes that are in my head. Ah, <sighs> man. And uh, in the dream, I was like swimming after this, um, this one set of beings that had. Uh, I put their tendrils into me, and they had a little raft uh, that they were floating out onto, uh, much like some of the air mattresses that we were using last night to uh, look up in the sky for the asteroids. I was seeing all kinds of stargates and interdimensional uh, stuff. It was like uh, squares within squares within squares, just going down to infinity and like curving uh, space. And uh, wow, I wish uh, I wish I could have photographed something like that. And uh, I will try to draw it, but it's going to be maybe beyond my artistic skills to uh, to try to communicate the, the beauty of these uh, portals that I saw. Anyway, I'm rambling uh, here to try to clear my sinuses. I'm not sure I'll even want to air something like this. i um, been having a lot of trouble with uh, well, the occupants of the ranch here, as long as I'm going off record and just... Uh, making something for myself. Um, his name is Andre and uh, he is running a reality show called Malibu Ranch and Andre is uh, is fucking nuts basically. I mean he's a right-wing nut job. He barely interacts with us here on the ranch. He's uh, occupying the little um, bunkhouse uh, down the road here and uh, you know uh, just his vibe is just perfect for the ranch because the ranch uh, loves to draw in negative energy and use it to process uh, some sort of a cure that extraterrestrials I've seen are working on beneath the ranch in these caverns here. And 
I wish they'd just come up the stairway and say hello sometime. So, anyway, I'm a left-wing nut job, <laughs> and we've got a right-wing nut job on the other side. So the polarity uh, is really an interesting charge. Uh, he was here filming for uh, a reality show, very cheesy, uh, you know, these um, young bimbos that he's gotten together to um, compete uh, for the title of Miss Malibu Ranch. So it's basically uh, a beauty pageant with AK-47s and uh, uh, attack dogs and uh, SWAT helicopters, basically. I mean, I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> um, yesterday he asked me to sign a non-disclosure agreement, and uh, I said, let me see it. I'll, I'll take a look at it, but I'm not just going to sign it, you know. I, I've never I never signed non-disclosure agreements because I am a blogger and uh, I may just want to write about this asshole at some point. So anyway, uh, the ranch owner Deborah Malmazada, of course, wasn't happy about that and started to get defensive about uh, the media and so forth. And I was just like, you know what? You're wrong. You're wrong. So so I'm chugging on and. Uh, trying to uh, keep my wits about me in this uh, amazing, crazy place I live in here at uh, Great Spirits Ranch. I'll give you a look out the window here. The, uh, there's the cowboy. Peace, my friends.